Hi Sydney, welcome into my office today. How are you doing? Okay. Good. Thank you so much for coming in. I do have your patient chart in front of me. Before we begin, I'm just going to ask you to verify your first name and your date of birth. Sydney, May 10th, 1998. Morning, Sydney, and what brings you in today? I've just been really tired lately. Um, I'm fine when I lay down, but as soon as I start to get up or stand, I get really dizzy. Okay. Have you been more sleepy than usual? Mm. When did you first start noticing these feelings? It's been like a week. Okay. Have you tried any over-the-counter medication? Just like a sleep aid, like melatonin. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Have you felt any more nauseous than usual? No. Does it get better at all if you lay down for a bit of time or if you eat something? Eating helps. Um, definitely if I've like, after a long period of rest, I can be okay for a little bit. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and ask you a few basic questions just to update your chart here. Have you been out of the country in the last year? No. Have you had any new allergies develop in the last year? surgeries in the last six months? No. Okay. All right, Sydney, I'm going to go ahead and start with my exam. We are going to be doing a cranial nerve exam today. I'm going to go ahead and keep you laying down so that you don't feel too dizzy or overwhelmed. So you can just feel free to relax and let me take care of you. Thank you. I'm going to set this aside. Okay. I'm going to first start off by taking a listen to your heart and your lungs. shirt just a tiny bit just so I can press it into the skin. As far as the heart is concerned, no murmurs. I'm going to go ahead and conduct a blood pressure test. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it around this arm if you wouldn't mind freezing it a tiny bit so that I can get this one out.
leg. I'm going to ask for you to go ahead and extend this arm, but you can just leave it at your side here. off. Let's put this aside. Now I'm going to go ahead and check your oxygenation level. I'm just going to go ahead and place this on your fingertip. And let that rest for a moment. And move your bang slightly to check your temperature. face, you can go ahead and relax. It's going to be running this light over the skin, making sure that there's no concerning lumps or bumps or bruises. I don't see anything of concern. Sure, though, I'm going to go ahead and take a few measurements at the head for our documents. You can go ahead and continue to relax. Do the point of the forehead, measuring down to the chin. Okay. Measure the distance between the brows. to check for any swelling or compare different sides of the face. really symmetrical. There's no signs of any swelling in the face. So we're going to go ahead and move on to more of a sensory exam as well as checking the different vital signs. I'm first going to go ahead and start with the ears. Hey Sydney, I'm going to ask you to turn to your left side and I'm going to go ahead and 
do we can do it here? No, with this line here. I don't see any kind of swelling. I need discharge or excessive redness. That will be a amount of wax, not too much. I'm gonna ask you to turn towards me when I take a look in your other ear. Okay, I'm looking like the same situation on this side. Nothing to note of concern. Everything is looking healthy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and conduct a bit of a hearing test. I want you to go ahead, you can face up and close your eyes. I do have these two shaker tools. I want you to let me know if you hear this on the left side, or the right side, or on both sides. Yeah. Left. Right. Both. Left. Right. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. radius, or if the sound is far, basically farther than a foot away. Mm. Near. Far. Near. Near. Far. Near. Take a look inside your notes. Go ahead and just hold still. I'm just going to be shining my light inside. Great. I don't see any kind of redness or swelling. Everything is looking normal and healthy. Have you noticed any problems with your sense of smell lately? No. Okay. I'm going to have you close your eyes. I'm going to go ahead and hold up two different vials for you. While I tell you to go ahead, I'm just going to have you inhale and you're going to tell me what the scent is that you smell. Cover your left nostril. And inhale. Vanilla. Yeah. Great. And we're going to do one more. But you're going to cover your right nostril. Now I'm 
can you go ahead and take a look inside your mouth? Go ahead and hold out your tongue inside. Uh-huh. Great. The throat looks healthy. The teeth and gums are looking healthy. No signs of excessive redness or swelling. Have you had any problems with your sense of taste lately? Not that I've noticed. Okay. I'm gonna have you hold out your tongue, and when I hold up this dropper, I'm gonna just release a drop onto your tongue, and you're gonna let me know what it is that you taste. And there. Sour. Gotcha. Go ahead and do two more. And there. Sweet. Great. And one final one. And there. Bitter. Great. It doesn't seem like there's any kind of issues with your sense of taste, which is a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and continue on. We're going to take a look at the eyes. Go ahead and look straight at my nose here, and I'm going to just shine this light into your pupils. Okay, pupils are round and reactive to light. Have you noticed any problems with your eyesight lately? Mm, no, but I haven't gotten Lately. Okay. I'm going to have you use your left hand here and hold this as far away from your face as you can. I'm just going to go ahead and use this little pointer here. I'm going to use your right arm to cover your right eye. Would you please read this row starting from the right and moving towards the left? O C T P E. Okay, great. I'm going to have you read this row, starting from the left and moving toward the right. L. T. I'm going to have you read this row, starting from the left and moving towards the right. D. H. J. B. S. And what letter is this? H. And what letter is this? F. What letter is this? E. And what color is this? What color is this? Green. Great. I'm going to have you switch the arms versus the eyes. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have you read this road starting from the right and moving towards the left. F. C. L. O. Great. I'm going to have you read this bottom row here starting from the left and moving towards the right. L. T. F. P. H. Have you read this first, starting from the right and moving towards the left? F C L O. And what letter is this? T. What letter is this? C. Which letter is this? L. What color is this? Green. And what color is this? Red. Great. Let me take this from you. Now I'm going to just. Hold up some fingers with the number. I'm going to hold up my hand with the number of fingers raised. I want you to tell me how many fingers that you see. Two, five, one, three, four, one, two, five, three, four, five. So your eyes are functioning well and in good shape. I'm going to go ahead and move on. I'm going to go ahead and take a look. It looks like your senses are functioning pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and dive a little bit deeper. I'm going to just ask you to relax your face. I'm just going to gently hammer along the bones to see how the skin and the nerves are reacting as well as the muscles beneath.
Okay, everything seems to be reacting correctly, accurately. Go ahead and gently touch the side of your face with this tool. I want you to let me know if I'm touching you on the left side of your face, the right side of your face, or the center. The silver concept, I'm going to go ahead and press one of these objects into your skin. You're going to let me know if the sensation that you feel is dull or if that sensation is sharp. Mm -hmm. Do you notice the difference between those two? Alrighty, Sydney, I'm going to 
keeping the thing on too warm versus cold. This is an example of what the cold is going to feel like. And the warm is just going to be the warmth of my hand here. Mm -hmm. Do you notice a difference between those two sensations? Yes. Okay, great. I'm going to have you close your eyes and let me know which sensation you feel. If it is warm or if it is cold. perfectly well, you were hearing was good, the sensations to us came back normal as well, you were able to detect between the warm or the cold and the sharp or the dull. Um, it still doesn't explain, however, the dizziness and the symptoms that you've been feeling, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is prescribe to you some medication that's going to hopefully help with the dizziness. Mm -hmm. I would also like to see you again in a week to hear if that medication was effective and also so that we can do some further testing. Does that sound okay? Sounds great. Thank you. Okay, my pleasure. I'll see you again next week. Mm -hmm. Thank you.